We're at 16, barely. But we are going up. So let's see. Oh! Yes! Did you see how fast we turned a, we turned a profit from the negative 9 we're at? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Get out of here. I don't care about manufacturing because I'm making some money. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Computer Tycoon. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. If you know me, I love a good tycoon game. And this one right here is one I've been eyeing for a couple of months now. It's all about computers and evolving over the times, and I'm a big fan of computers, obviously. Here in Computer Tycoon, you'll be starting in the 70s with your little small startup company, and you'll be evolving with the time, so you'll be going through the 80s, 90s, into present time, and you have to obviously evolve your computers in order to keep up with the market. Now, what's cool about Computer Tycoon, there's also a bit of a grand strategy mechanic involved, too, where you will be actively competing with other companies in the market as well. They will also be evolving their computers over time. But what's cool as well is that you can be kind of like monopolizing countries in order to push your products instead of theirs. So it's a very interesting little feature that I really enjoyed about that. This should be available on Steam by the time you see this video. So I have all the information down below. And if you enjoyed this, would like to see more of this in the channel. Meanwhile, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up and we can indeed do that as well. So the first thing we got to do is name our dude. So no surprise here. The old Falcon 69 will do. Company name. Let's go with... Fly high, because we fly high, baby. Now, Random World's pretty interesting because what this will do is that all the countries are an even playing field right off the bat. So you can have a really poor US, a really wealthy, you know, third world country in our current time. So I'm going to keep that on because I think it gives us more stuff to kind of mess around with. Down below, we have our opponents down here. Now, this is my dude. I'm not too crazy about this guy. I really like Ben Klugman. I'm going to show you why. Let me, let me go over here to select... This fella, this guy's pretty snazzy himself, but look at Ben Klugman over here. Does this guy not command respect? He's got an amazing beard, got the glasses. He's even got the classic dad pose. Like, you know, you've done something terrible if you walk into the front door and this is how the first person you see is your dad just standing that way. Yeah, you, you, you know, you're in for some business right here. So I'm going to go with Ben Klugman for myself. Speaking of which, we have to remove you. Uh, I guess I'll go with this... Uh, Young last over here. I gotta give you a name though because um, Ben Klugman probably doesn't really fit your gender. Am I assuming it's gender? Well, I think it's a female, okay? Yeah, I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but I think she might be a female. Alright, so I'm gonna call her Rose and... Um, Rose Jameson, I guess? I don't know. I Apparently I need a drink or something. Rose Jameson is fine. Ben Klugman is me. Let's go ahead and start this game. This is kind of really important for you guys to read if you're going to pick up the game for yourself, so I definitely encourage you to either pause and read this, or if you do pick up the game, read it very closely, because overexpanding early on could send you bankrupt, so you kind of want to take it nice and slow. So I definitely encourage you to read that. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. Right now the game is paused. So, the first thing we want to look for is a country that's um, maybe a decent population, but their wealth value is not really too high, because if it's really high, it'll cost a lot more to actually start a company there. So, normally I like to go with India. India is going to be average, which is acceptable. I prefer poor, but average will do. Yeah, so let's go with India. Now, the other thing you want to pay attention to is the preferences of the country. Every country has a different type of pre uh, preference when it comes to their computers, what they expect to kind of have for it. So, for instance, if we're good with feature, anything that's really dark red is going to be a really feature-focused country. So, Australia, for instance, they love features in their computers. If we go to ease of use, China loves that, Russia loves that. Oh, India isn't really too crazy about it this time. So it does randomize, does it? What about China? You know what, let's go... Oh, the logistic, logistic price is way too high for China because of their population, I imagine. What about Russia? They're also four. Okay, I guess we'll go with India after all. I was going to switch it up, but let's go with India. All right, so India it is. I will buy you. And are you sure you want to sell in this country? Yes. I thought for a second there it said, like, if I want to sell India. And I was like, I don't think I own India for me to be selling it, my friend. But so we have now chosen India. Before we build our first computer, we're going to go and zoom on in here and establish my site. And this is where all the magic is going to be happening. I'm not really sure what those flying critters are. are those birds? They might be birds. I hope they're birds and not like, you know, giant flying bugs because, oh, that's scary. I'm not a big bug fan. Alright, so let's start off over here by making the office. Very important to have, obviously. This will kind of dictate the entire level value of your entire operation, so we'll hit that or upgrade it anyway. It's not going to be built yet because we're in pause, so we'll, we'll deal with that soon. Let's go to factory. This is where they will be produced, so we obviously need that. We might even upgrade it to level 2 to have a production value going really, really fast in case it's flying off the market. 
Laboratory will be for research, so we definitely want this in order to, you know, research new parts for our computers. And then marketing, very self-explanatory, so we're going to want a marketing department too. I normally leave logistic and recreation for later, because um, logistic will be for expansion to other countries, but right now you want to start very slow. Very slow. Maybe having two countries is not a bad thing, but I'll start literally one right now and see how it goes for us. So with this done, we have to unpause for it to build, but before we do that, let's also build our first computer so that when everything is up and running, they'll instantly go into start building. So, here in computers, let's go into new. And we'll be designing our very first home computer. Look at this bad boy right here. <laughs> That's quite a looking computer right there, baby. It's all about the 70s. You know, I make fun of my age all the time, but even that is way before my time. Anybody watching from the 70s or at least born in the 70s or before, let me know. Let me know. I'm not calling you old, by the way. I call myself old all the time. But if I wasn't born in the 70s, I guess I technically am calling you old. But I mean no offense by it, we could just be old together. So the first thing we'll be adding to our computer will be memory. Let's go into new. And memory is going to be right on over here. So, the first thing we'll be adding will be the DIP memory. Now, the performance is 0%, which is basically telling me that we're on par with the rest of the industry at the moment. But we don't want that. We want to actually offer more. So let's go over here to passive cooling. And that brings us up to 100% performance. So we definitely want to go with that one. Speed will let you increase the performance as well. But because we're at 100%, no real reason to do that. Because we're going to just add more value to something that needs some more performance. So this is perfectly fine. Create this part and we'll also add it to the computer. So our memory is set up. Let's go over to CPU. Let's go to new. CPU is right here. Let's add the 4040 CPU, which is the very first one. The performance right now is at 100%. What happens if we add passive cooling? Oh, that cooling right now is the... That's basically like the... <laughs> the, the new, uh, I guess, technology that's going crazy in the 70s. Passive cooling. People love that. So, with this alone, we're done here. We'll create that one. You could also name your parts if you want to, but... It's too much of an effort for me at the moment, so I'll just go with... Memory number 001. Let's go ahead and add that to the computer as well. The next thing we'll be focusing on will be the mobile, I believe. So we'll do that one. So for mobile, we'll go with the DIN connector. Now here, we're going to have to add some features because the feature itself is going to be negative 89, which is really terrible. Quality is negative 91. So if we add this a bit, it'll go up to 90. But our manufacturing price is going really, really sky high for that. So what happens instead if we use something like the passive cooling? Quality went up. Pretty decent. What about the, the prom? Features, okay. And what about VLSI? This actually drops the manufacturing price to some degree, huh? Let's do that, because it doesn't really affect us too much here. So now at this point, what do we want to add? Well, features very low, so what happens if we go with, like, here? We go up to a 74, huh? And initially we're at 78. I think I'll go with maybe, like, a... 76. And then for quality, we're at 45 to start off with. We could bring this bad boy down to a 37. Let's go with that one right there. Good high quality on that one. So create and add to the computer. Power supply. Let's see what we got for this one here. We have the AC-DC converter. I, I could have gone into an AC-DC song, but I'm a really terrible singer, as we've all established, so I'll, I'll spare your ears this time around. So the quality is going to be negative 96 for this one. If we add passive cooling, it'll be negative 92. So we're pretty bad when it comes to the, the power supply here. What happens if we add capacity? Nothing at all. So there's really no point in me doing that. So let's just go ahead and just leave that at a zero. And create that part and add to the computer. Last thing we need for now is going to be the operating system. So for the operating system, go to new. Here it is. Look at that. I'm making my own operating system, mom and dad. I made it. So... We're going with the opcode system over here, which has negative 50 feature and negative 26 ease of use. Remember, India, they love ease of use. So, how about we pump it up? Now, when it comes to features, we're at negative 50. Again, features is not something that they're really too crazy about, but we could add maybe up to like a 46. How about a 45? That'll do. Create. Add to the computer. So at the moment, we have our computer set up as it's going to be. We have no storages yet, GPU input or displays, but... And they could worry about that later. So let's go into create a prototype. Your new computer. And the recommended price for this is gonna be 1228. So what I'm gonna do is let's go into 12. Let's do a good 1230. It's a little bit above the recommended price, so we, I think we should be fine. Okay, so now we're on pause. So as you can see right now, everything is going to start being built. Go to the office over here and see that up and running. Factory being worked on as well. I want to get the second upgrade here pretty soon. 
So let's see. Let me add some volume here for one. Your building upgrade has completed. Some of my buildings are done. So you know what, factory? Let's go ahead and upgrade you one more time. And computer should be good to go. No, no, we, we still need a couple more days of testing and polishment. Your Put it in the market. Is empty. You not, you don't have enough manufacturing. Ah, that's fine. We'll, we'll have it soon, okay? So, get out of here. Now, we have sold. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at them sell. Look at those bad boys sell right there. Your this is the reason why we got the... Empty. Stop it. Oh, you want me to do some research? Fine. All right, hold up, lady. Right, let me pause momentarily. So, they want some research now, because we do have a research department that's being paid for doing nothing. So this is where you'll be adding the, or at least evolving the parts for future computers. I believe you can hold a computer on the market for five years, and then you can start developing something else. I mean, you can develop something beforehand, but I don't think you'd have it on the market in more than five years, if I'm right. Removable media. Uh, sure, let's add that one. And it's a very small one to do. Built-in speaker, sound chips. Man, look at these guys already coming up with some sound chip and built-in speakers. Well, let's do the... The power supply, too. Why not? Okay. So we're done here. They'll start researching all both of those there. And we can now go back into real time. So the first thing they're working on is going to be tape drive. And then they'll come over to power center. So I guess we could queue up a lot of them if we want to. Which is not a bad idea. But I'll hold off until those are done and see what happens. So how's my factory coming along over here? Are you guys level 2 already? You definitely are. Um, let's go into marketing now. Because I want to start... We got billboards. Okay. So with billboards, let's see. Let me pause momentarily here so we get more efficient value for more marketing. Uh, we want to advertise the product as an ease of use because that's kind of like what India focuses on. So ease of use will be our advertisement in India, which I guess should be selected. And at the name of the, the advertisement. So let's just go with ease, obviously. Should probably be like ease one, but whatever. Start this bad boy off there. Go back into real time. Get out of here. Let's go to the world map here really quickly and see what everybody else is doing. And now you can see the other countries also expanding. Or not the other countries, but the other companies. So we have the perps down here in the Africa area. Over here we have some of you guys. I'm not sure who is who. I think I could check them out by clicking here. Manufacturing capacity. Oh, don't manufacture it soon. Don't you worry, okay? Purple. This is going to be the Forester Chips. So I'm not really sure who is running this one. <laughs> I should have paid attention to the company name. I'm pretty sure there's a way to figure it out, but whatever. Uh, let's go over to statistics here really quickly. And look at my budget. So right now we're in the negatives because we just built a bunch of stuff. We also had to buy into countries and we you know, started developing our stuff. So this is fine. If we could turn this to a green, which I feel like we probably will, we'll be looking pretty nice and dandy here. A new technology. Yeah, you see that? The profit's going up now. There's also a new technology, so that means that we finished our research. Now we're working on the XT power standard. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Let me go back over to our site in India. And let's go into marketing level 2. Because I want to show you guys something really cool, too, that you could do when it comes to... You guys are upgrading. Yeah. Um, you could also, like, um, advertise in video games. And, you know, what is this right here? It's a video game. So, I, I do want to advertise these video games, and they have, like, little small, like, nods to games in that era, too. So, you'll see what I mean here pretty soon. So, once that's done, we'll get that one up and running. Let's go into two times speed if we can. Uh, let's see, statistics. I want to see how we're doing here. Oh, look at that. So, we've dropped already by a million. So, we're about to get into those greens here pretty soon, which is fairly, fairly awesome. Laboratory... I mean, I could put some more money in there, too, sure. But let's go with more factory, because I don't want to have that issue with the manufacturing. And we got marketing as well. So let's do factory up to level 3 for now. You don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Oh. So we need recreation now. Let's get that up and running, then. So recreation will be over here. And I guess we'll probably also open up the logistics so we can... Probably expand to another country like everybody else is doing. So again, this is costing me a lot of money to do that, but that's fine. Now, with this done, let's go over to marketing now. And we have now unlocked video games. So here we have... We could go ahead and advertise in the Wizard of War and the Supreme Slaver. Now, what's really cool about this is that they all have a different type of thing that they um, require. So, for instance, we have a, a successful marketing campaign with Wizard of War. We have to have a good display feature. Now, unfortunately for us, we do not have display. So we can't do that one. 
We could probably do Memory Performance, which I guess isn't really too terrible, so I'll pick up Memory Performance on Supreme Slayer. And check this out. This goes live on 9-1-1974, so we have like a couple of months to wait before that goes on the market, and we could definitely get the... Uh, the fruit of our labor, I guess, coming into play. So we have to wait for that release, and then we're skipping Wizard of War, so that's fine. And the billboard is still happening, so let's get on out of here. We now gotta wait a little bit, though. Logistic is coming up, and recreation is almost done right over here, too. Oh, it's, a, it's their own little coffee shop. Oh, that would make sense. Your building upgrade has completed. Alrighty, let's see how we're doing with the statistics now. I'd imagine... Oh, mama! Oh, that Birdman coming up pretty good with them profits now, with only one site to work with, too. Let's go back to the world map here. Okay. So, because we're kind of focusing on ease of use, maybe we find another country. Yeah, yeah, I know. It'll happen. You want another one? Fine. Let's, let's come over here to... I gotta upgrade recreation again, it does seem, right? So let's go with them, and then factory. We can do that until that's level 3 to match the recreation if I'm right. Yeah, so it, requ it requires recreation at 3, so we gotta wait a little bit for that one. Um, let's go back to the world map, meanwhile. Let's slow it down a tad. Now, let's see how much we're looking at in terms of our money now. That should be updated. Come on. Update. Ooh! That's, what's, uh, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's some profit right there, baby. Alright, so let's find out what else is really good when it comes to ease of use. We have Iran, we have China, and Russia. Now, China is going to be... Oh, the problem is we need more logistic points. I could pick up China, because nobody has picked up China just yet. They have an amazing population for us, too, and the wealth is only average, which is fine. But we need more logistic points, so how about we go back to the sites here. And logistics, let's pump you guys up, because I do want those points now. Oh, you require offices that, too. Okay, hold on. Get this upgrade up and running. Let's speed it up so this actually happens now. I like how it it kind of like has different needs. Like for instance, the, the manufacturing, the, the the workers that are building computers need a coffee shop. Meanwhile, logistics needs the offices to be upgraded. I, I like that a bit. So logistics come over here and upgrade you now. Oh boy. Okay, fine. Recreation. We got to get you up to a three now. So we can meet up with that manufacturing. So. Oh, we got a gym now, too. How about that? All right, Factory, we'll hook you up here pretty soon, all right? We'll be done here soon. Logistics, how are you coming along? Office is done. No, oh, office is not done yet. Oh, office at three. Logistics at two. Okay, here we go. So with this done, we have six points. Let's get back onto the map here. Now we... We should now. Factory upgraded. Okay. Slow it down, slow it down, come into a halt. Stop talking to me, robotic lady. Alrighty, so with this done, we spent a little bit of money here, but our sales are still... They're starting to teeter a little bit while the spending we're doing, but that's fine. So, we still are in the greens, which is perfect. So China is still available, we have the points for it. So China, let's buy in. It'll cost us 9 million. We're at 17. Oof. That's a, that's a pretty big ask right there. It's a pretty big ask, but let's do it. I said big ask, not not a big ass. I mean, I don't think China's known to have a big ass, but if it does, then hey, good for you, man. I like big bucks and I cannot lie. You, you know how that song goes. I won't ruin that for you, too. So, four points, we got that. Let's go ahead and establish... Or, let's sell in China as well. And I believe we'll now be pushing our product into China, and we could also establish another one there. But right now, what I'll do is I won't establish a site there just yet. But we have now from India, we can now sell over to China as well. And because China has a really good population, um, and a really amazing population, and they love the ease of use, this should be pretty good for us too. So now, let's see if we speed this up a bit. Time has been passing, so for all I know, I might need to probably revise my computer. Maybe. Let's see how we're doing now that we have um, China in the market, too. Yeah, profits went, you know, they plummeted. But that's because we just bought into, like, you know, a $9 million country in order to sell there. So we got a little patent there. Let's see what else could be pretty good for us in the future. We got Sedan, we got Iran. Iran is not bad. Oh, I think somebody has the market on that one, though. We might need to... Oops, get on out of there. 
we might need to actually increase... <laughs> we might need that second um, site for production, because China might be demanding quite a bit of that now, too. That's kind of like how I figure, because the more population there is, they're probably just more. Okay, so we're doing good. We've, we've dropped it down quite a bit. Fairly fast, I would say. Uh, what if we establish this site here? Upfront cost will be 200000 and then 1000 a month. I think we could probably do that. Sure. So let's go into China. And let's start off with the factory. And the office as well. Speaking of which, research, how are you coming along? You're, you're coming along. I should probably upgrade you again. So let's get into motion over here. And then we'll have some production happening in China as one. Well. Maybe that'll help me out with the manufacturing, which is, you know... Unfortunately, playing a big role in the fact that I can't keep up with the demand, which is a good thing, you know? I'm like, you know, Nintendo trying to develop, like, any, uh, the classic NES and the classic SNES. They apparently can't keep up with the demand. Or it's just Nintendo just, like, not stocking enough as usual, so all the scalpers are having a field day selling those classic systems. I'm a bit salty. I had a, I had a, I had a, a reservation on Walmart and they canceled me. So you know what? Screw Walmart. You know, I, I put my order in, it's kind of like, oh, cool, and then, like, you know, a week later, oh, I'm sorry, we won't be able to sell you the, the thing that you put a pre-order in for. Yeah, Walmart, me and you, we're, you're dead to me. I mean, you've been dead to me for a very long time, but now you're even more dead to me. All right, so let's see. Game is a massive hit. Oh, mama! <laughs> yes! So, I told you, our, our memory was really good for that one, because I made sure that it was 100% or something, so that should even help us out better with the sales. What are we looking at here? Budget? I mean, we're, we're hardcore negatives because of all the expansion we're doing, but that's fine. We don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Oh, boy. I gotta try to keep up with that part, though, huh? Factory. Requirement. Let's go up to level 2 for now. And that's gonna be it. Let's go back over to... I, I guess at this point, you just build up meanwhile. When it comes to research, we're still kind of waiting around. Let's go back to the world map here. Let's see what's happening. Uh, ease of use. So... We did talk about Iran. What about down here? We have the Democratic. Poor? Oh, this could work out pretty good. Oh, but the perps already have it. I wonder if I could come in there and buy in. Ooh, I think I can. I could just straight up challenge him in here, huh? The starting cost would be... Oh. Oh, that's a lot. I think the starting cost is really high. Because another company already owns that. Oh, my God. That is a ridiculous amount of money needed for that one about Russia. Nobody in Russia just yet. Amazing population, they're poor as well. We need four points for you guys, though, huh? And the startup cost will be 63? Oh, yeah, we, we ain't got that. We're at 16, barely. But we are going up. So let's see. Oh! Yes! Did you see how fast we turned a, we turned a profit from the negative nine we're at? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Get out of here! I don't care about the manufacturing because I'm making some money. Alrighty, I just took a look at my time here, and I've been recording for a lot longer than I thought I would, so... Really fun game, you tend to lose your time in this one here, it does seem, which is always a good thing. But I have all the information for the game down below, if you want to see more of this in the channel, let me know in the comments, let me know by leaving a thumbs up, and we shall do it as well. I will catch you next time.